Well, Small Rig just sent me out this car rig mount thingy, suction cup mount thingy, which is great because I got a shoot that I'm DPing here in a couple weeks where this is gonna be really handy. Uh, so it's a pretty sweet little system. Basically, it's got suction cup mounts to it, so you mount it to the outside or inside of your car, depending on uh, whatever the situation calls for. And uh, it comes with this little ball head right here, and it's got like NATO rail on the side here, and then 3 8 uh, and then quarter 20, a bunch of locating pins, and then these little stoppers for the NATO rail. And then you get a couple, a bunch of different little magic arms, which is sweet, which these can be used not just with a car mount, but really for anything. So they're super handy for mounting monitors and stuff. And uh, super high quality and they feel really sturdy. And then you also get the suction cup mounts here. And you can see there's a bunch of mounting points here. Again, this is a NATO rail here. So you got all kinds of mounting options to, uh, to set up for whatever your situation calls for. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the car. I've got the plate on the Komodo already. And um, since I got the Komodo X, I'm gonna be able to start using this kind of as this cam was designed with two little BP batteries. Gonna wirelessly monitor it and uh, I got this little free well uh, circular polarizer what's well, their their variable ND magnetic ND system flip it over to the polarizer so I can cut out any glare that I want to uh, on on the car so um, let's go ahead and clean up and then get this thing mounted and just kind of get some shots and um, kind of wrap up the video kind of what I think about this whole kit and also don't judge the garage we just moved in and there's crap everywhere and uh, we've just re really had any time to, uh, to fully unpack. So, such is life. Now I am not a professional grip, so if you're looking for a tutorial on exactly how to mount your uh, camera to your car, I'm not gonna accept that responsibility. So first of all, I'm gonna do it on the outside, show you a cool little angle looking in, and then maybe do it from the side, and then mount it on the inside as well. But first up, we gotta clean this thing. All right, so what I ended up doing is I ended up doing three of these suction cup mounts to mounting that to the ball head where the camera's attached to. And then the last one, since I have the uh, Bright Tangerine, the left field kit on here, well, it's really stripped down to basically just the side plates and the top rail. I've got one of the NATO rails going from the suction cup mount to the top plate on the Komodo, just kind of give me a little extra security. And the last thing is I'm just gonna kind of chain it up to the, the roof rack here. so. If the camera were to fall, at least it would just maybe fall in the car and not into the street and into traffic. So, so I'm not gonna really go into heavy traffic with my first time doing this. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Um, I've got the camera mounted up there and I've got the, using the app to monitor, but the, I think there might be an issue with the settings or something, cause it's kind of getting all wonky on me because um, I'm not really, maybe it's the glass or something, but here we go. First, uh, first test drive with the uh, camera rig. So the cool thing about a camera rig like this is the ability to, well, number one, be able to mount your camera outside. And this just kind of gives you more opportunities to well, get creative angles uh, in your shots. But it's nice to kind of put the Komodo to use in its intended use case, which is pretty sweet. I don't know why I decided to film this on like the hottest day we've had in Charleston since we moved back. So next up, got that shot from outside. Next up, I wanna try mounting this inside. And this is kind of like a test for me. So, you know, when I get on set, I'm not like trying to figure things out. I'm gonna try to move it inside and maybe mount it on the windshield or on this window here. Kind of get a side profile shot of me driving uh, or maybe at an angle, we'll see. Just I wanna kind of get an idea of some framing I want for this kind of shot. And then we'll move on to uh, another shot after that. I think this time I'm going to forego this tripod mount and just mount to the NATO rails on the camera. But it's cool that it comes with this little ball head because, you know, if you're using a mirrorless camera or something and you don't have it rigged out with NATO rail attachments and stuff, then, um, well, then you're set up. You can do that. But since I have NATO rails, I think we are going to be good to go by just mounting it directly to the Komodo. I think in hindsight, I think I might have wanted to use this thingy because uh, this ball head gives you some fine adjustments that you could work with. But um, that's kind of where I got the camera now. And um, 
yeah really should have watched driven films video on this i'm pretty sure he has one on this and it's probably would have made this video a little bit more beneficial i cannot give the app to like reliably work this is like after the update so if you have a komodo with the latest build that kind of gave you a elq and all that let me know in the comments if you have issues with the live stream because it's like i can't even use it it's like terrible so once again this is kind of another shot uh i am using the actually the 16 to 30 i had the 15 to 35 on and then i switched over to the 16 to 35 with the speed booster now looking back i think i would have preferred to have used the the little ball head mount this thingy right here because i felt like i was really battling with trying to get the right angle and all that and being able to be able to adjust the ball head i feel like would have been a little bit more beneficial than the way i did it but i am really pleased with this system so far it is super well built and it just seems rock solid the suction cups are doing a really good job of what they should be doing and i think there is a limit to what you can put camera weight wise on this rig but this doesn't seem like it's getting anywhere close to what the limit is but i will put that limit on the screen here and for the next shot i've got the camera right here and i think this is probably not going to turn out great because number one i can't really see really what i'm looking at because the live stream thing is kind of jacked up right now it might be just because it's outside of the window but it's probably also not going to look good my guess is because it's like a high noon out well actually it's like two or three o'clock but the sun isn't probably doing us any favors right now even with the circular polarizer that's not going to really help out in this situation so either way we're going to see how this goes and hopefully when i get into some shade it'll look a little bit better by the way i'm sorry for such a terrible video guys i've been so busy with work like my actual freelance work not youtube um i've just been editing and shooting non-stop so this is kind of my way of testing something out real quick before i bring it on the project now i'm not exactly sure how this shot's gonna look but we have the camera here mounted on the windshield kind of straight on and it's probably not the sun is not doing us any favors right now but as i pass under trees through shade and stuff hopefully it'll start to cut through and you'll be able to see me which that'd be pretty cool because i think that's a cool shot in the movies when it kind of passes through the, the sunlight and the shade and all that so overall i'm pretty happy with the uh with the performance of this little suction cup mount um I, i'm really happy with it i think uh, if you're looking for something like this in the market i would certainly look up at the small rig suction cup car mount thingy i'll leave links down in the description below for you to check out sorry for the terrible video thank you so much for watching uh, i've got a komodo x video in the works so uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see when that comes out and um yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next one peace